Hey, fellow squad mates. I am so excited to share with you all that the Multiplayer Gaming Podcast now has a live Patreon page. We run this podcast independently, and this is a great way for you guys to come support the show. That way we can keep delivering to you all two podcasts per week. In addition to supporting the show, you'll also get access to our exclusive Discord server where you can come interact and play games with Todd, Josh, and I, and also offer recommendations and to submit questions for future shows. You can find a link to our Patreon in the episode description, or you can visit www.multiplayersquad.com. Thanks so much to all of you for listening and subscribing. Now on to the show. Hello, this is the Multiplayer Gaming Podcast, the video game podcast that's like a fine wine, aged, mature, earthy, and easy on the eyes. Today, we have a doozy of an episode, two hit games that just dropped on the scene. That's right, two games today. We have a double header talking about Fall Guys and Among Us. I'm your host, Todd, and today... We have a Pino Grigio of the group, Paul. Oh, Pino Pino Grigio. All right. Are we turning this into a, a wine tasters podcast? Because I'd be down. <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely down with that. <laughs> Paul, you're light, you're down to party, and everyone likes you. I am a Pino Grigio fan. And <laughs> Lady Gaga has a song called Grigio Girls, and Nikki always said, That's my wife. She would always say You want to be one of Lady Gaga's Grigio girls, don't you? And I always say yes. Absolutely. (laughs) I'll take Pinot Grigio of the group. And then we have the the red wine, but it's a chocolate blend, Josh. Ooh, that sounds fancy. (laughs) Words that have not ever been used to describe me. (laughs) I was wondering where you... At least you know that I prefer a red wine over that garbage white wine stuff that people drink Wait, i was i was thinking i'm like what's what's a wine that everyone surprised is here but like no one complains about it and it, it's it's the chocolate blend <laughs> <laughs> it's a little what out there right. a little <laughs> wacky we'll let you hang out <laughs> if you hang out too long they're like hey it's, yeah, time, it's to time to go go now sorry <laughs> all right we we have a a winner for our uh, review raffle. Winner winner chicken dinner. This one, this was nice, man. And this person like they they reached out to us on Instagram. They shared the review with us, which is that's what you got to do, so we know who you are. Um, but this one comes in from Sambert ninety two, and this one's titled "A Strong Marriage." I like where this is going already. At first, <laughs> this was a make love podcast. The views on games are similar to my own, so it was easy to feel part of the discussion, and it's a good laugh. It quickly got promoted to a marriage once the guys recommended the cycle. He actually wrote it as the circle to make fun of you, Todd. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> love it. And made me aware of scavengers. But, and it's a big but. A big butt. I nearly murdered this podcast lie. for the pure reason <sighs> that Mario beat Pikachu? Seriously? Overall, That's... a strong, long-lasting marriage. Love you guys. He had me one over with big butt. Yeah. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's the relationship I have with this podcast. Yeah. Realistically. Yeah. It's like, I mean, sometimes I want to murder you guys when you kill me in among us and then you or you get me ejected by blaming me because you know everybody always will hop on board for blaming me but it, then it's amazing every single time yeah. especially if you're the imposter and then you just oh. turn everyone's attention to josh yeah. we'll, we'll get to that later we'll but there. but congratulations Sam Bert- to yeah. sam berg andy sam, sam bert and andy oh sam, sam, sam bert yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. So, you know, we're 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 going to be pressed for time on this episode. So, let's jump into it, Fall Guys. I mean, we we talked a lot about hyping this game up and then the beta came out and we were a little sour. 
And then, you know, I, I fell back in love with it. But for the, for the Xbox people out there, Josh, what is, what is Fall Guys? Fall Guys is that game where you see the crazy TV show with people trying to jump on like the giant red balls and then they fall off or they like smash into it and then they flip over backwards and then they fall to the ground or you see just some person trying to climb up this hill that's like greased in oil and stuff like that. And you're like, this is all just craziness. Well, somebody got smart and they made a video game out of that. And then they yep. said, hey, we're going to pit you against 59 other people and see how you do. And I mean, that's the game, man. It's it's as very simple. It's very colorful. Uh, you're up against 59 other people. You start 60 people and then you go in rounds. And then if you qualify, each round will will serve a, like to reduce the number of people. And if you qualify for that round, then you make it onto the next round. And there's usually about five rounds or so before you make it to the final round where you race. Well, Sometimes you race for a crown or you have to be the last man standing and then you win. So it's a non-traditional battle royale. It is a battle royale because it is last man standing. So oddly enough, even though you would never think it by looking at it, this it's exactly is exactly like Apex. About <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's exactly like Apex. The skills are really cross game. Like if if you're good in Apex, you're good in Fall Guys. Yeah. All right, no. I I I want to get this out of the way. Have you guys won a game? Oh, you shut your guys? face, Todd. I just I'm you, I know where you're going with at this, this point. I I I'm just curious. I've seen Todd win two games. Yeah. So I have never he's seen got a Todd couple. win a game. I've only heard about him bragging. No, I in I I sent you a clip. I thought, yeah, but I've never seen it. You think I watched that clip, mm. Todd? You think, <laughs> <laughs> you think I watch our Twitch I'm gonna, channel? I'm gonna watch you gloat. <laughs> <laughs> I went in Twitch and I did the clip of me winning Fall Guys and posted that to our clips in Twitch just because I'm like I I, I want to show off a little bit. Uh, it is an accomplishment. Like, I mean, we'll get into the mechanics of this game here in just a minute, but this is not an easy thing to win. Like, whether it's through dumb luck, chance, skill, or, you know, other people being buttheads and causing you to lose, like, it's not an easy thing to do. So the fact that you have won so many times is kudos to you, Todd. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. In case it's not clear, Josh and I have not won any games <laughs> however i will also say todd has definitely put in the most time yeah. in fall guys yeah out of the three of us what's which the will, saying i think come into play as we talk about this game more i've i've enjoyed this game more than both of you like i i can tell that right now i had zero intention of paying for this game <laughs> after the beta test and then out of nowhere todd just messages me and josh he's like yeah i bought fall guys and we should probably do this for the show. And then Josh is like, all right, I'll pick it up. I was like, all right. I'm such a I'm sucker for playing 20 bucks. games with people, though. That's why. All you got to do is yeah. be like, Josh, do you want to play this game with me? And I'll be like, ooh, okay, yeah, sure, I'm in. <laughs> Josh, everyone's doing it. <laughs> yeah. And you're in. And then, of course, I'm, and then you just got sucked in, because what are you going to do? Say no? You know? Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what this game is. This game's a party game. This isn't. If if you're going to play this by yourself, you have to have people either in the room with you or you have to be like streaming or something because it is very repetitive. Yeah, absolutely. There's how many total stages right now? 20? 20. Yeah. And then they're they're about to come out with season 2. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of stages, but honestly when most of these rounds are only a couple minutes at the very most by the time you've put three hours into this game you've played every stage four times each so it does get repetitive quick and there is a lot of carryover between certain mini games so right. some of them do share a lot in common and and there's a lot of a lot of like division so like you can't have the same mini game for the first round as you do for the fourth or fifth round so there are 20 rounds, but there's, you know, three final rounds and there's probably only three to five first rounds 
So yeah. you're playing the same three to five levels for the first round every time. And then there's probably five ish team games, which, you know, we, we can talk about team games in a little bit. <laughs> but so, like, when you start dividing 20 levels into how many per round, it's like, man five rounds in the first round gets repetitive or five levels in the first round. So that like, I think this game will age better with time, but right now, if you don't have the first levels down, like that's on you because it's, it's repetitive. You should be able to get it. So I know, I know you guys like earlier in like the, this week in gaming episodes, you threw everything up to chance. Do you still feel that way? It's not entirely chance. Well, the team games are entirely chance. <laughs> You've got about 2% yeah. control in the team games. So, yeah, it, it's very chaotic. If there was one word I would use to describe Fall Guys, it is a chaos simulator. I know Todd <laughs> and I have talked about it a lot, and Todd says that your best skill that you can have is is controlling chaos and so as you play this game you know you are 60 blobby guys who are all jumping and climbing over one another and so you know there there is a lot of fighting against other players it's not just who can run this obstacle course the best there are people jumping and diving over your head your guys falling over someone grabs and yanks you backward and so a lot of elements really are out of your control. And so you really just have to capitalize on the little parts that you can. Like sometimes, honestly, your best strategy is to stand back and do nothing for two seconds, let the mob pass you, and then just kind of walk behind the mob group and pick the right time to jump over the group. And sometimes you have to be strategic in in that sense. Well, and that's absolutely right. Because like, especially I'm thinking of those dang like beams that everyone has to run on and then like it might be two and then it collapses to one and then you have to jump from the two to the one and if there's seven people on it three of those people are going to make it and four of them are going to fall off so it's way better for you just to take a second hold back and then let them half of them fall off and then quickly go behind them and make the jump even though you're not going to be first you're like going to be middle of the pack or whatnot there's so many different things where it's like just a subtle like let me wait for someone or let me wait for this thing will save you in this game that was one of the things that we learned very early on that was i think rage inducing at least to me and why i was not overly thrilled with this game in the very beginning was it's a race. Like, everything is a race in this game. You have to be one of the first 34 to qualify or 16 to qualify or, you know, I guess there's there's some maps where it's you have to survive longer than other people, so it's not really like a race, but everything is kind of, it feels that way. And so you just go. But if you go and you get caught up in that mob of 59 other players... The physics in this game are goofy. And so your guys bounce off of people. And then sometimes you'll just, you know, everybody's kind of shuffling and boom, boom up against each other. But then all of a sudden you'll just go flying and then you'll go flying right off a ledge. And then it's like, now you're way behind. And it's like, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't make a mistake other than you got caught up in that herd of little jelly bean guys and you got bounced somehow some way and then you got pitched over the side while the other guys you know get spit forward or something like that or like paul said you'll just get knocked over sometimes and there's a solid like one or two second delay while your guy like picks himself back up and goes to start running again and that one to two seconds can make all the difference in the world yeah and the like essential game that you're kind of describing is the door game where It's a wall of doors and half of them you can jump through and the other half are solid and you can't jump through and you're trying to get to the end. And if you get stuck in that herd, 
like your guys on the ground while people are jumping over him and it's hard to manage it's like black friday at walmart it really like you're getting oh, yeah. trampled <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> like, no it's, it's it's a yeah black friday simulator it's, <laughs> at yeah, walmart yes go grab but that big screen that, tv at the end of the you level get that big screen at the end <laughs> <laughs> That crown is 90% off. I'm getting to it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What if, that, what if they came out and were like, <laughs> like surprise, <laughs> the crown is really just a highly discounted item. <laughs> oh, um, man. All right. I want to jump into, have you guys seen cheaters in this game? I have. I Twice now. Twice, actually. I played a few rounds without you guys, and I saw two cheaters in this game, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. Like fly hacks or what? They uh, speed fly and like speed. they could oh, speed while hacks. while the um the the and they were both basically the same hack. But while the beginning countdown is going, it was the door level that you were talking about too, Todd. While the beginning countdown is going, this guy is just sitting by the doors, like zipping back and forth. And I was like, hey, how's that dude <laughs> out there? And then everybody starts running, and he just bolts through the door. And then he ran through the entire level within just a couple seconds. But then he was smart because he waited at the finish line so that he didn't cross the finish line like too soon to where the game would realize like, hey, there's no way you could have done this. So he just sat at the finish line and waited until like somebody got close and then he crossed. But and he did that every single round till he got the crown. And I was just like, that is lame. And have you looked into how to report someone? You can't. You can't. And that's insane for a PC game. So when you look into how to report someone, there's a message that they'll show you that it's like, oh, if you're looking to report someone, they've already been notified by our AI cheat detection. Yeah, right. And they'll be deleted or like they'll be like, that's the only game they're allowed to cheat in. Or whatever. And then Reddit has been going crazy with... I've been seeing people who have outfits that cost 8, 9, 15 crowns. So they've won a ton. And they're cheating. Mm -hmm. So either your like detection system isn't as good as you think it is. Or this person spent a ton of time in this game and then out of the sudden, out of nowhere... They decided to cheat, which I'm going to go with. They've been cheaters all along. Yeah. <laughs> no one's good at this game and then decides to cheat. Yeah. Well, one thing that's kind of funny with this game, because I know we've talked a lot about why would you cheat in games? Like, if it's not fun, if you're not having fun playing, then just don't play it. Like, why cheat? Because now you haven't accomplished anything. But in Fall Guys, both of my sons have been playing a ton and they've been watching a lot of tutorials on YouTube. And I just haven't, I haven't cared enough to go out and watch this. But my kids now have set strategies on basically every oh, yeah. map. And so when they watch me play, they're like, no, 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 dad, go up the middle, dive right in the left corner. And even if the fan hits you, you won't go flying. That's, that's what everyone does online. And so there is an element of like learning the levels and there is definite strategy like that. But since I don't care enough to go research all that, between the hackers and the people who actually are just employing pure strategy, I don't think I'll win any Fall Guys games. But I'm also not planning to play anymore, to be honest. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get into that. I don't view Fall Guys as the type of game that I'm going to go, like, try to be, like, uber competitive at. Like, yeah. I, if I play but that game... everyone else does. Well, right, and that's what I'm saying. And <laughs> yeah. who, I mean, if that's your style, hey, that's fine. I just mean, for me, it's this weird, like, conundrum of, like, I'm super competitive, but yet in Fall Guys, I just don't care that much. And I don't know if it's because of, like, the way I view it, is this is, like, this is a kicked back in your chair with a controller in your hand kind of party game... And so it's just, it's meant to be like fun and have a laugh and that kind of thing. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's like I have zero desire to try to be competitive in it. I think it's the animation style and the music. It's hard for me to feel uber competitive when that's the atmosphere. It's a very okay. fun atmosphere. Okay. You leave the music <laughs> out of this. 
<laughs> Whoever designed this music should win a Emmy. Is what? that what they win? Are you kidding me? No. I'm not I criticizing it. I love the music. The music's fine. I'm just saying it does not get me in a competitive spirit. It, it tells me this is a fun fair or carnival. That's what it feels like. Do you want, do you want more, more drops? Like if it was like, Bwah. Yes, I <laughs> like want Christopher Nolan <laughs> Bwongs, like from all his trailers. <laughs> Let's talk about the actual multiplayer part of this. I do not like this game at all if I'm not playing with friends. Yeah, and so you can group up to four people in a group, which is a significant oversight on, like, the the developers. Like, you should be able to group larger than four people, because there isn't a lot of, like, it's not Apex, where you have, like, squad-based or something like that. Yeah, so max of four people, but then this game doesn't even feel like it's made for multiplayer, because... If one of you go out, you don't see your teammates. You have to keep on clicking the button to find a teammate. And then you're like, hey, Josh, what does your character look like? Because I'm trying to find you and I can't find you. Well, not only that, you can't even see the names. Like in beta, it would use your Steam name. And then once the game released, everyone's name is just Fall Guy 9371. What is the point of that? And That's so, no yeah, idea. I don't get it. So it's hard to find your friends unless they have a unique cosmetic. All right. I think that's a decent segue, Paul. Sure. <laughs> what, 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 does the, what does the community think ten of this game? 10 out of 10. Transition right there. All right. So I do have a couple of reviews here from Steam. They are quite short, but I, I did enjoy them. So the first review here is a positive one. Imagine a game full of bruh moments. <laughs> i love that's, that more that's than spot anything. on yeah yeah i i really enjoyed that Bro. a negative review here it's all fun and games until you get a team game oh that's true team yeah. games are the low point you can't are you can never convince me that the team games are not terrible all right i think they could be up. fun they can be fun if they are evenly yeah, matched. If you get a good but, team, but 90% yeah. of the time you get the team that's just the worst players you've ever seen in a video game. You get stuck game. on yellow and, and you get destroyed. Yeah. Right. Um. All right. I watched a video of the guy playing the soccer game where it's like two teams versus each other, like Talk Rocket League. Again. Rocket. All right. No, but this is amazing. <laughs> he got so fed up with his team. They were like down zero to two. And then he stood in the middle, and whenever a ball spawned, he jumped in just the right place by reading the shadow on the ground and rocketed it into the goal, which caused another ball to spawn. And they won, like, 6-3, to three, like, going from 2-0. and zero. And then, it, like, the video was just him yelling, like, I am this team. <laughs> this is 6v1. I'm destroying all of them. And it was just him like beast moding against his whole team because they were idiots. Yeah. Have never seen that happen once. Have never had that guy on my team once. That video was amazing though. It's How funny. it's what everyone wants. Yeah, the team team games, I think we all agree suck. And then I love this next positive <laughs> review. I hate you, seesaws. Oh, the seesaws. Do people not understand how seesaws work? Do kids not <laughs> use seesaws? Kids, because kids. everyone thinks, let me jump on the low side. Seesaws don't exist anymore. What, when have you seen a seesaw at a playground? I don't know. Not in the last 20 years. Literally every person will jump on the side that's lower, and then everyone just falls off. Like I'm pretty <laughs> sure no one understands how seesaws operate. I don't want to get into details, but there was there was a time where for filming I had to find a seesaw on a playground, and it took me like a solid four or five days to find a seesaw in Surprise, Arizona, yeah. at a playground. <laughs> and you know they they still exist in a single playground built in probably the 1950s. Back in my day, we had seesaws. You want to break your friend's legs, you just jumped off the one end. Down they went. Crack. What about the merry-go-rounds where you oh. just spin someone until they're just sick? Or just fly off at 80 miles an hour? 
Yeah. yeah. Those weren't safe. Well, you would have to lay down and hold on to the posts and, and you wouldn't fly off. That was the <sighs> trick. Them's the days. So, <laughs> <laughs> Josh misses it's a it. a weird yeah. segue. <laughs> Back in the day, Josh would sit on his seesaw and go home and play text-based adventures. Yeah. After spinning myself sick. <laughs> and then my like... favorite... Go ahead, what, Todd? I was going to say, Josh typing in his diary is not a text-based adventure. <laughs> Doogie Howser style at the end of the day. There were no digital diaries. Okay, sure. All right, and then my favorite review here, it's a positive review. Add guns, you cowards. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. oh, I think that's so funny. I love the insult. And uh, yeah, I don't know how you would add guns, but we're calling them out. They are cowards. Add guns, you cowards. Mm-hmm. A, a paintball mode would be amazing. Like oh God, a, just a team base. There are certain paintball There are mode. certain jelly beans in that game that I want to just shoot. Just, yeah. 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 And anyone in a banana costume. That's true, too. Just murder. <laughs> All right, so we always play our little game here. What percentage of user reviews on Steam do you think are positive? I wrote down oh, my man. guess at 93%. Wow. <sighs> I know this game's I... pretty beloved. That was that was my guess. That's pretty dang close. <sighs> I I'm going to go 89. Dang, I was going to do that. I'm going to say 90 then. Oh, <laughs> dang you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the winner is Todd. No. The actual, hey, actual is 79%. Ooh, I was rather so shocked. Wow. That's a tad low. But I think a is lot of it? people just feel... I, I <laughs> don't it? think it's low. Uh, I Yeah, I have not submitted a review, but if I did, it would be a negative one. But yeah, I think the people who don't like it just don't like the chaos factor and they probably feel like the skill control is a little low the randomness is a little high throw in a couple of bad matches and team games it can be tough to play this game but yeah 79 percent like it well i'm i'm not happy i won but you know glad to be here yeah (laughs) all right um oh i i gotta do this We're, we're doing it twice in this episode Ooh, baby. Make love, marry, or murder. You know, it's a it's a childhood game we all used to play. Beloved by all. Beloved by some. <laughs> <laughs> and we 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 get to decide like what what do we want to do? Do we want to love this game and you know, it's it's good for a little bit and and it's fun. Do we want to marry it where it's a game where we're we're going to be playing it for a long time? Or do we want to murder it and we are never coming back to it? Paul, you gave away a spoiler Paul, in the beginning. Get it, in get the it words out. of Taylor Swift, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. <laughs> I am murdering Fall Guys. I don't know how I feel about that reference. Uh, your wife's a big Taylor Swift fan. If she's listening, she'll appreciate it. You know my wife doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> oh, I know. I absolutely know. But, you know, I am going to murder it. I found myself getting mad more than I found myself having fun. When I play this, my kids love this game, and I hate telling my kids no, but they ask me, Dad, can we play Fall Guys? And it got to the point that I just said, no, no, I'm not. I'm not playing Fall Guys. I don't want to. I don't find it to be fun. My kids love it. I get the appeal. I get so frustrated. Just some idiot getting hit by a propeller. They fly into me. Now my guy flies off a a ledge, and now I get eliminated from the round. I don't care for it, which is funny because I loved Mario Party so much back in the day. You would think that I would love this game, but I just found it to be too irritating. I didn't find it to be terribly fun. Yeah, I... I really want to say that I want to make love to this game because I feel like the majority of people out there would have a good time for a little while. But I don't like this game, man. And I know that it's wildly (laughs) popular right now. I know where I'm probably going to catch flack because I, you know, come at me. It's fine. You know, I, I welcome disagreeing opinions, but 
I I hate the randomness in a competitive game. Anytime you introduce an element of chance, it takes the competitive it it ruins the competitive nature of it for me, and that's my biggest problem. Is if you're gonna ask me to play a competitive game, then make it where I failed, not I got bumped, like you said, by 40 I, other people and then flew off a ledge. And I know you don't agree, Todd, because you're like, oh, there's strategy, but no, there's there chance is. as well. And there, I oh, hate okay. chance with, in a competitive with, game. With the war zone, there's chance no. that a freaking no. helicopter is going to fall nope. out of the sky. There's not, because I made a mistake and I peeked that corner that I shouldn't have peeked, or I didn't do cover well enough, or I engaged when I shouldn't have, or I have every control yeah. in that game. Well, this game this game is all about I engaged when I shouldn't have. No, this it's, game is I got bumped I, by 40 other people, flew off a ledge, and then I, now I've now I didn't advance. I've I don't have that problem and that's because I'm better than uh, you. You can <laughs> make love to it or marry it or whatever you want, but for me it's a murder because I just I'm that's, with Paul, it aggravates me. This game aggravates me and I know it's supposed to be fun, but it's not real fun for me. Ooh, double homicide. Yeah. Yeah, just because it's two murders doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> that's that's actually exactly what it means. Does not make it. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make love to this game. This game is fun. I, I do see strategy and skill, but it, a lot of it's disguised as randomness and chaos, but you can come out of that. And I feel like there's like, if you go on Twitch and watch people play, you can see like people do better at this game just because they are better at the game and like they get the skill. Don't believe that. Um, and uh, you get don't, out don't of here. Believe Todd. <laughs> I think they can absolutely make some edits to the game to make it way more playable and way more fun. Um, right now it's fine, but if they added local lobbies, if they added like you can customize uh, or you can select maps, if they add more maps, like this game w- could get better over time. I just don't see it happening right now. Don't believe Todd. You get there's get, no strategy. Out of you. <laughs> you let you no, I will. <laughs> I will agree with Todd. There is <laughs> strategy. There are shortcuts and the things strategy like that, is but... to uninstall. <laughs> there it is. Okay. The real the <laughs> the real life pro tip is always in the comments. There it is. Uninstall right. this game. I want to know: Is it worth no. twenty dollars? <laughs> I mean, to- I didn't. I didn't finish my sentence. Is oh, it go worth ahead, twenty dollars? No. <laughs> <laughs> if no, this is your kind of game, not. Yeah, there's going to be. A, I mean, there's a ton of people that love this game. So if you think it's up your alley, then I do think it's worth twenty bucks. They're not asking if forty dollars. If you for have it. kids, if you have kids, buy it. I have it's two worth kids, twenty bucks, and I've managed to avoid buying it for them. All right. Um, can we talk about a good game now, Todd? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's switch. We're, we'll save the leaderboard for the very end, but let's switch into our next game, Among Us. Oh, I'm so much happier to move mm-hmm. on to Among Us. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how I feel about Among Us. This is like a truly popular game that's fun to play with people. Isn't twenty dollars? Is fun as a group? Never has it's, server it's on a issues. Lot of, yeah, it, never <laughs> ever. It's smooth as butter. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, someone describe Among Us, Paul. All right, so Among Us is very much a deception-based game. You have a group of four to ten astronauts, and basically, you have a certain number of imposters. If you are a crewmate, it is your job to run around and try to fix up your ship. That way you guys win. There are going to be a certain number of imposters who run around and try to sabotage the ship and kill the crewmates. And so in this game, basically, if you find a dead body or if you see suspicious behavior, you can hit a button. And basically, the group has to discuss slash argue who they think is one of the imposters. And if you get enough votes, that person gets jettisoned out the ship or they fall to the ground or whatever map you're playing. 
And then you find out whether or not they were an imposter. And if you eliminate all the imposters or fix the ship, the crewmates win. If the imposters kill enough of the crew, then the imposters win. So the rounds are pretty quick. How long would you guys say is an average match? Seven minutes? Ten minutes? minutes? Yeah, seven ten, yeah. to seven, seven minutes. Seven, seven to ten. ten. They're pretty quick. Yeah. And you have a lot of control over options. So how fast do the players run? How long of a cooldown before the imposters can kill again? So you have a lot of control over how many people you have and what kind of experience you want it to be. And this is like they have pushed the button on Jackbox games. Like there's, you know, the Mafia or Avalon or like there's a Town lot of, Salem of games. Is a common yeah, one. Salem. Like One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Like it's the yeah. it's the whole like figure out who the bad guy is and if you're the bad guy, try not to get caught. Right. Like, try and hide. Uh yeah, like be sneaky. So with this game, like what stands out on like what do they do well against Salem, Avalon, push the button mafia like why is this game different i think this game is different in how you have to strategize in this game so one of the things that i love is if you're a crewmate you are running around trying to fix the ship but there are a couple other things you can also do like for example you can run to a security room and hop on the security cameras which lets you spy on four different parts of the map you definitely can't see everything. You know, it's only certain parts, but you can like kind of watch and see how other players respond. Meanwhile, the imposters can see a red light on the camera so they know someone's watching them. You can also, as the imposters, jump into vents and move around the ship. You know, there is a lot of cool elements of strategy. And then I think just the real beauty of this game is just the arguing. Absolutely. So, like, a lot of people play this game entirely solo online with random people, and that is fun. But really, the beauty, I think, for us is playing with a large group of friends. We all hop in Discord, and we just have some house rules, like we don't narrate in real time who you're with. But as soon as someone hits a button or finds a dead body, man, everyone turns on everyone else. There are wild accusations out of nowhere. Everyone's yelling and accusing one another, and it is beautiful yeah the the purest joy i've ever had playing this game is when you're the imposter oh okay well i have two one of them was when (laughs) i killed todd four times in a row i kept getting imposter and todd and i kept pairing up and as soon as we would turn a corner i would immediately kill todd 20 seconds into a match and i think i did it it four games in a row so frustrating because it was like all right paul's killed me once that's on me yeah Yeah. that's i i shouldn't have trusted him no way out of this group of 10 he's gonna be an imposter again killed me again first round immediately third game no way paul's gonna be an imposter hey paul let's group up kills me immediately yeah (laughs) fourth game no way paul's gonna be the imposter four games in a row out of 10 what are the chances Paul, let's pair up, kills me. Yeah, incredibly low Shenanigans. Odds, but it was so funny. But we just played with a group. I don't remember if it was last night or the night before, but I was one of the imposters, and we have two friends that are married, Brandon and Jacqueline, and they turned so fast on each oh, other, and they were hilarious. both crewmates. So they were both good. <laughs> they were 100% convinced that their spouse was one of the imposters, and I'm just sitting back laughing so hard watching them argue and they're accusing them in front of the whole group. All right, well, we're all going to vote for Brandon. But if Brandon's not an imposter, we're definitely voting for Jacqueline because it's got to be one of them. And those are the types of moments you live for yeah. when you're sitting back as the imposter. Yeah, I love these kind of games. Like you guys know, like we used to play Avalon, which is a board game that you would play together in person. Mm-hmm. And I remember when you introduced me to Avalon, Paul. Like I yeah. was in love. I've never gone home and bought a game like instantly after <laughs> yeah. playing it, but I went home and bought Avalon immediately because you, Avalon's a phenomenal game. You give me it's a great. game where you get to like lie and deceive people and pretend to be good, but then there's strategy involved, which I love. There's communication and interaction. There's arguing. I mean, this is just, there could not be a more perfect game 
like for my personality. I get to troll people because oh, yeah. if I accuse you, you know what? All it takes, like what you mentioned it with Brandon and Jacqueline, like all it takes is to mention one person's name and say, I think so and so is acting kind of suspicious. And then <laughs> that's it all it just, takes. Yeah. Everything just breaks loose. Everybody starts accusing everybody. And I just, I love that chaos and that hilarity. Like, we played with a couple guys from our, our Patreon Discord, mm-hmm. and they had never played before, and it's a very easy game to pick up. Like, there's really, it's very simple to just say, look, this is what you're supposed to do. Figure out who the bad guy is. Go. And, I mean, within minutes, we were accusing one of them, and then they were in scene like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, why are you blaming me? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then it wasn't him, and then we got him ejected, and then it's just, like, I think this is one of those games where every round is its own story. Yes. And that's what makes it so much fun. Like, Paul, you and I, the other night, were absolutely 100% convinced that the other yeah. person was the imposter. You blamed me instantly, and I get blamed yeah. all the time. Like, I joked about <laughs> that earlier. Everybody is like, just, just vote Josh out. He's always bad guy. And then I'm not. But you were like, I think it's Josh, and I was absolutely convinced it was you. I would have bet my house on it, man. Like at the time, yeah. I was like, it is Paul, a hundred percent. It's Paul, and then Paul's like, no way, it's Josh. And everybody else is like torn. Like half of them think it's me, half of them think it's you. Nobody knows what's going on. And then it turned and what out. What happened? <laughs> It wasn't either one of us. And Josh's lawyering was a little bit better than mine. The group ejected me and the bad guys immediately won because That's they had right. the numbers at That's that right. point. So we lost that round and we just laughed so hard when it ended because you turned so fast in this game. It's just one little seat of doubt and it's just sheer chaos. And one thing I do love about this game is you can play it with anyone. You can play it with teenagers yeah. who like download it on their phone. You can play it with parents. You can like if you can get a group of like five plus people, like everyone can download it on their phone for free. Or if someone wants to play it on their PC or phone or whatever, like they can play this game yeah and you can all get in the same lobbies and like that was pretty fun where like talked about brandon and jacqueline but then i think it was jacqueline's mom and brother was also playing with us yeah which who we don't know at all but it was very very funny to be like is excuse me miss jacqueline's mom <laughs> yeah. um i believe that you are the murderer, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm going to vote you out now, and I'm going to get everybody else to vote you out. And then they're just sitting there going like, why me? And you're and like, because I'm innocent. the imposter, and I need to accuse other people. <laughs> and then they're innocent, and you just feel so bad, but it's like... I don't feel bad. Yeah. I don't feel bad. Yeah, I feel like this game, it just operates so well in what it intends to do, and you can tweak the balancing. So if you're in a group where, you know, you have to increase or decrease different cooldowns, you can do that. The only complaint that I think everyone has right now is that the game is just so popular. It's so incredibly hard to get in the same room with one another because you get yeah. continual errors. Room cannot be found. Room is not available. It, it timed out for the request. But once you're able to get in that lobby together, it's been relatively smooth sales so it does take a good 10 minutes to get everyone grouped up but then you're on average how often does it take for you typing in the room code to get into the room i'm gonna say 12 to 28 (laughs) times it's never less than 12 i have never entered a room code and immediately got in it's never happened I think 28 is the most spot on number you could <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. In the end, it's worth it. But yeah, there is some frustration. I don't like we had heard of this game and I'll say this. The graphics are not that great. I mean, they're if they're you if, fine. I mean, they're fine they for what they be. need to be. But I'm saying if exactly. you were to like if you're listening right now and you're like, oh, let me go watch a video of Among Us, like it's not going to look impressive. Like you're not going to understand really what's going on 
you're not really going to think like, oh, this game, yeah, I don't understand why this game looks fun. But then you have to start playing it because that's what really matters. Um, But yeah, yeah, it's it's well worth it once you're able to get into the group. All right. I think I think we've said what we think about Among Us. Paul? Sure. A couple of reviews from Steam here. First review is a positive one. It's not me. I promise. <laughs> Do you That's hear anything mantra. else more than that in this game? Is no. that what you hear the most? Or stay oh, yeah. away from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> I do hear one thing. Guys, I think it's Josh. Yeah. I think that it's does Josh. Get a lot. And then I got, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. And I love the, well, let's vote Josh. And if it's not him, we're voting Todd. Like where you get those backup <laughs> plans. Yeah. And, oh, it's so yeah. funny. Yeah, I love it. All right, second review here is a positive review. The game is great. My favorite part is you disconnected from the server. Reliable packet one size equals 13 was not (laughs) ACK'd after 7,000 milliseconds. 10 out of 10. (laughs) That's the error you get when you try to join a room and the servers are getting hammered. So you see that a lot. If you type in Google... 28 times. If you go to Google and type among us error, it prefills that entire sentence. That's, That's amazing. That's pretty yeah. dang funny. All right. And then I got two others. Next one's a positive review. Amazing game. I love it when my best friend betrays me like it's nothing. 10 out of 10. Would never trust anyone ever again. Love yeah. it. You got to have thick yeah. skin. That's honestly like my wife. I have tried and tried and tried to get her to play this. And she will not because she she knows like She's like, she can't handle being bad, number one. She hates, like, the stress of being the bad guy, which I know, like, there's people that, like, they don't want to be bad. Um, But she also knows that if I betray her, then that's going (laughs) to, like, that's going to cause issues. So she's just, like, she's smart, and she's like, I'm not playing that with you. I can tell you that right now. Yep. And then the last review I have here is a positive review. I don't know what you mean. I was in medbay doing a scan, I swear. So that's like half the reviews is people saying, I swear, I promise, I guarantee you, we are going me. to lose if you vote for me. Yeah, you hear What's, what's the song? It defenses. wasn't me. She cut me on camera. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, me. Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. That's this game. Yep. 100%. It wasn't me. So uh, what about the percentage of reviews that are positive what, what are you guys thinking todd won. I, should go i go first. i won yeah, I yeah won. you gotta All go right. first todd Ooh. paul i'm gonna steal this from your last one 93 percent. okay 93 what about you josh i'm gonna say 94 <laughs> how dare you i guessed 97 whoa wow i went crazy high i mean you see games that are in the high 90s yeah this game is 92%. Oh, wow. Winner, winner. Todd wins again. I shooting Todd there. And you know what? Oh, Every man. single negative review that I saw, I scrolled through probably Server. 300 Server reviews. issues. It has to be. That's the only complaint. I did not see a single negative review that mentioned anything other than this game is amazing. It's just hard to get into a game. That is every single negative comment. Wow. I did not see a single one that said this game is not fun. It's just technical issues. I'll leave. I'll leave the first. This game sucks. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I vote review. Todd. Genesis yeah. Server, out. the imposter. Servers, Get him out of here. Servers great. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um. All right. It's 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 me again. Let's get a little more gusto with yeah, this come on, baby. Ty. Ooh, baby. There you go. Already explained to this once tonight. <laughs> In case you're just joining us. <laughs> We're not on the radio, so um I'm I'm gonna go with make love. I I I'm very curious to see what you guys say. Even with our friend group being very into this game. We haven't had a ton of sessions with a large number of people. Maybe that's just me because I've been busy lately and I've like, I, I like it. My life hasn't been normal with me playing games, but I always feel like there's, there's messages saying, Oh, let's get people in among us. 
And then it'll be like two or three, four, maybe four people. And then it's like, and eh, we don't have enough. Let's, let's play cycle or let's play something else. Yeah. I think that's just you being busy. I do feel bad for our friend Andrew. Cause I think every single day he posts. So are we playing in among us tonight? <laughs> and there's a lot of, well, we're recording another podcast. So maybe at 10 PM we can hop on with you. We're, we're being spoiled too, though. I mean, yeah, you know, we want to have our own complete group of people. Like we don't want any yeah. strangers in there. And so you need, Really, it's ideal when you're going to play that way to have eight people because it's just the balance of like how many imposters and how many people. Yeah. We could easily just fill the room with other people, but we choose not to. So it's like we want this to be like our party game. And so well, I think that's why it's if like we can't get half enough. people in voice comms, half the people right. not in voice comms. That hurts. Right. Yeah. This game's very it, playable. I mean, even by yourself, if you wanted to play solo and just with, you know, random people but we've been trying to put together like the whole like hey let's put together like the party group and you know have our own people in here all right paul what 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 do you think oh it's a make love game this game is free on mobile or worst case scenario you spend five bucks on you're Steam. not gonna marry it oh what did i say make did love, I say make, love? make love oh no I, i'm marrying it a thousand percent yeah it's a marry game it's <laughs> I sorry. I was starting to form my arguments ahead of time. Oh my goodness. No, this game is a perfect party game. If you were a fan of big party games, even if it's like simple stuff like Pictionary or Outburst, it's just a loud fun time with friends. It's a merry a hundred percent. Yeah. Same for me. It's like I my only concern is that sometimes party games get old after a little while. Like this is much different than keep talking and nobody explodes because that's more of just a smaller group of people. I feel like, mm-hmm. um, and you solve it in this game. There's right. no, there's no solving. Right. Among exactly. Us. And that's it's just arguing. Yeah. And I love it. I love <laughs> arguing. I love blaming people. Like I love you being do. that guy. So for me, if you asked me six months, six months from now, Hey, do you guys want to play among us? I would be like, yes. If we've got a group, like let's do it a hundred percent. I just, I don't see it getting old necessarily. It is, like I said, every round is the story. And for me, that doesn't get old. Yeah, I get that. All right, let's move on to the leaderboard. Man, Fall Guys and Among Us. I'm gonna I'm gonna go lower for Fall Guys. Let's let's start sixteen with Valorant, seventeen Rimworld, eighteen GTFO, Tarkov nineteen, Fall Flat. I feel like this game's better than Fall Flat. I'll say that. Yeah, this is a tough one. I feel like for us on the leaderboard, sixteen and down. So Valorant, GTFO, Escape from Tarkov. Those are games we did not really enjoy very much, and I would put Fall Fall Guys right in that range. I'd I'd put it nineteen. I I enjoyed GTFO. It was very limiting. Yeah, I feel the same thing with Fall Guys. I enjoyed it when I was playing it. It's very limiting. I can agree with that. I would be fine. Putting it at 19. I think that's in the right range. I think that's what exactly. do you think, Josh? I honestly, I just got the leaderboard pulled up. So, yeah. I, I mean, I got to see the game sometimes, but yeah, 19. I'd rather play GTFO than Fall Guys as a group of people. So, yeah, I think it's perfect. Dunzo. All right. Moving on. Oh, man. Among Us. Dang, this is going to be. This is going to be tougher. Let's go, let's go up. 13, Deep Rock Galactic. 14, Keep Talking and No One Explodes. I think it's higher. It's higher. Higher? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nine, Warzone. No. Now we're talking. No. We're in the right range. Yeah. I'd put, it, I'd put it at 10. I would put it right below Warzone, and I'd put it above No Man's Sky and Far Cry 5. I'm, I'm good with I that. I actually agree with that. No Man's Sky is a great game, and I don't mean to take anything away from it, but as a multiplayer game, Among Us is way more fun. I I agree with that. I completely agree with that. I'm good with it at 10. Man, these are getting wow. easier and easier, guys. 
We got 29 games on the leaderboard now, guys. That's a lot of that's, games. That's a lot of games. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be leaderboards. A, a top 15 and a bottom 15? I don't... Yeah, sure. Top 10, the rest. Don't make me do math. <laughs> All right. Well, that is our show for this week. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go into our podcasting app and subscribe to get fresh content twice a week. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can find us on our website with the leaderboard at multiplayerpodcast.com. Our Patreon is multiplayersquad.com, Twitch TV, Multiplayer Pond, Twitter, multiplayer pod and instagram newly newly minted. multiplayer pod we, we we got it guys yeah I, i'm sensing a trend here eight million dollars but we bought it yeah <laughs> just so you guys didn't have to type out cast <laughs> right i don't i don't even know how to spell cast yeah so you, you couldn't you couldn't get me to all right and next week we are, or not next week, next next two weeks, two weeks from now, we're going to cover what game? This one's close and near and dear to my heart. This one is also a delicious candy bar. Payday 2. Payday 2. <laughs> payday is a good candy bar. Yeah. What's Payday 2? Ooh, Payday is where you get to live out all of those wild fantasies you have of knocking over banks, uh, drilling into vaults stealing all the jewelry, running down the road, shooting at the cops, trying to get you. This game gives you all of those fantasies of pulling off the perfect heist, and you get to do it with your buddies online. It's it's Ocean's Eleven. It's a guns blazing, go in, shoot up the bank. Yeah, it's more heat, I would say, right. than Ocean's Eleven, but yeah. Okay. Any, any good heist movie. I just want to say this right now, that... I'm fine playing this game because I think it's a good game, but you guys cannot expect me to try to be stealthy. We have to. You can. No, you don't have to. A few times. Yes. You. Paul and I will be stealthy. We'll leave you in the car. Josh (laughs) is the living embodiment of the Danny DeVito meme from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Anyway, so I started blasting. (laughs) That is is Josh. That is Josh in Payday. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Oh I can't wait goodness. to have some good stories from this one, though. So there we were, about to drill into the vault, and then Josh <laughs> just goes out in the lobby with twin Uzis and starts shooting the place up. Look, I know you guys don't like heat as much as I do, but I got to quote oh, one line. Awesome. He was looking at me, man. I had to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys on Thursday. Yes. See you, everybody.